Welcome to Math 155 on um, section 6.1 Everyday Geometry and Application. So in this lecture video, I'm going to go through a series of um, basic geometric concepts and we're going to do some examples. So uh, let's just start off with very, very basic stuff, okay? And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize a lot of these stuff you might already know and then I'll begin to do some problems. So when we talk about plan geometry, okay, plan geometry, very basic thing is a point. A point has no length, width, or shape. A point is denoted by an uppercase letter. So a point, just a point. Most people, um, most of y'all already know that. Now, a line is actually a collection of points that extends infinitely in the opposite directions and will always assume to be straight. So basically, a line is made out of infinite number of points. So if we pick two points on the line, call them A and B, we can call this as line AB, okay? So the way how we denote it is, uh, in geometry, we denote it as line AB this way, all right? So basically, a line is made out of infinite number of points. A line segment is portion of a line that lies between two specific points called the endpoints. So basically, if I will cut off the right side of B and the left side of A, okay, between A and B, that's called the line segment. It has two endpoints. A line segment denoted as segment AB. That's the way how we say it. All right, array is half line with an endpoint A with a directionally through point B. All right, so basically, if I have a line and I actually cut off the left side of, um, of point A and let the other side keep on going, that will be denoted as called ray AB, okay? Now, we care about ray because if I, if I can have two rays, okay, share the same common endpoint, I can actually create an angle, all right? I used to, uh, I just mentioned the word plane geometry, okay? So the word plane is referring to a flat surface with no um, thickness, depth, or boundaries that extends indefinitely in all directions, okay? A plane, think of a plane as like a surface, okay? All right, and the, the word plane is always denoted as a, with an upper case later, whatever you want to call your plane is. All right, so that's very basic um, concept, points, line, line segment, rate, and the word planes. All right, take a look at some of these real quick. Um, parallel lines, if I got two lines, A, line A, B, and line C, D, okay, in the same plane are parallel, that means they will never intersect, okay? Parallel lines never intersect. Earlier I said if I have two Two rays share the same common endpoint that actually creates an angle. All right, and that and that common endpoint is called the vertex. All right. Let's take a look at the word angle. An angle is a union of two rays at the common vertex or the common endpoint. And the measure of an angle is the number of degrees that separate the two rays. An angle is denoted by a, B, C, where B is a vertex. So what I mean is when we read the angles, we basically read them as from ray A to B, and then from B to C. So rather than write the letter B twice, we just write them as one time. So this, is, so angle A, B, C actually means is from, this angle form is actually from um, ray A to B, and then from B to C, okay? All right, acute angles, probably remember this. Acute angles is, uh, has a measure greater than zero, but less than 90 degrees. Those are called acute angles. Obtuse angles are angles that measure greater than 90, but less than 180. All right, right angle, oh, we'll always have this, ang um, we'll always have this symbol. Right angle is 90 degree, uh, it's measured at 90 degree. All right, straight angle or the word straight line is always equal to 180 degrees. Okay, very important concept. Straight line or straight angle is always at 180 degrees. So real quick, couple of example here. Um, identify all the obtuse angles. So what I'm going to do here is kind of 
take a look at the measurement as well. So here I have angle from M to Q to O. It's a 90 degree angle. All right. Now, if I will look at, let me kind of do, do, use my magic pen. This angle here, this angle, this angle, and this fourth one. All four angle is actually sitting on the same straight line. They actually touches, okay? They're all touching off the same straight line. Therefore, all four angle together got to equal to 90 degree. So what that mean is, if I already got 90 degree here, that means angle P to Q to O, this angle and angle Q, L to Q to M, these two angles will actually be 90 degree as well. Okay, because all four angles got to be 180. So if you already got 90 in the middle, that means the remaining two angles got to also equal up to 90 degree. Therefore, because the 180 of the straight straight angle minus the 90 that's in the middle, that re leaves you with the other angle is 90 degree. Okay. So the reason why I mention that is because right now, if I need to um, identify all the obtuse angles, then I will need to um, realize um, I need to have something bigger than 90 degree, but less than 180. All right, so let's just take a look. There are different ways of looking at it. So one way to look at it is go from L to Q and to O. Because 90 right here already plus that little bit will be greater than will be greater than 90, less than 180. So L Q O. L Q O. Let's just find it. L Q O right here. That's one. Alright. Let's see, it's got another one here. Uh, I know P, Q, M, so that's 90 degree plus a little bit more will be lesser than 180 but greater than 90. So P, Q, M or M, Q, P. M, Q, P, P, Q, M. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find anything else. Now to confirm it, you know, this might be a little bit more work. All right, LQM, LQM, that's not, that's that's an acute angle. LQN, LQ to N, okay, that's that's gonna, that's actually not gonna be more than 90 degree. All right, because I gotta be more than 90, but less than 180. N to Q to O, no, that's actually within, within 90, because these two together is only 90, so one of them is within it. O, Q, P, O to Q to P, this direction, that angle, that is not, that is actually lesser than 90. All right. L, Q, P, L, Q, P is exactly 180 degree, okay? Up two single got to be less than 180. All right. M, Q, N, M to Q to N, that's an acute. N Q P N to Q to P Okay N to Q to P uh, I don't think uh, I don't think that's gonna be Let's see if I do N to Q to P this angle here it may Okay, it may actually be, um, it may actually be bigger than 90, but less than 180, because we don't know what this little angle is. Okay, so that so that one we can check. NQP. All right, MQO from M to Q to O. That's 90 degree. All right, so here I got three um, choices here. Okay, now. Uh, it's very easy with the N to Q to P, okay? That can be a little bit tricky, but it does look like it's, it's opened up more than 90 degree angle, all right? So that's why I went ahead and choose that one. All right, let's try some with the uh, 
acute angles. All right, so again, 90 degree here in the middle, so that means this angle, this angle here, and this angle here. All four angles together is 180, so each one of these red ones gotta be, gotta be acute angle as well. So, let's see, I'm just gonna um, just look at my choices here. U, Z, B, from U to Z to B. Okay, that's this red angle, that's acute. All right, W, Z, Y, W to Z to Y. Uh, that right there is not gonna be, um, it's actually not gonna be an acute angle. That actually, it looked already bigger than 90 degree already, so it cannot be. V, Z, Y. V to Z to Y. Okay, that's an obtuse angle. All right, W, Z, X. W, Z, X. That will be this angle here, so that's an acute. All right, V, Z, W. W, V, Z, W. That's right here. That's an, that's an acute. U Z X U Z X that right there is not an um that is not an acute. Alright. V to Z to X. V to Z to X is actually a right angle, so that's not it. Alright. U Z W U to Z to W. Okay, this is gonna be an acute. All right, X, Z, Y, X to Z to Y. So this angle up here is an acute. All right, U, Z, Y, U to Z to Y. That's a straight angle, so that's not it. So I got five of these. All right, so just kind of by, you know, eyeballing it, looking at looking at what we are given, okay, we can identify um, obtuse and acute angles. All right, um, so you might have seen some of these before. Uh, adjacent angle. When two lines in the same plane intersect, four angles are formed. Two angles that are adjacent if they have the common vertex and the common ray. In the in the example, two adjacent angles are B E A, B to E to A, and A to E to D. So the word adjacent angle is basically the same as um, uh, it's the same as the straight angles because as long as you have two angles side by side, that's where the word adjacent come from, where they actually sit, where actually they coming off the same line or they touch the same line together, they got to equal to 180 degree. All right, so that's called an adjacent angle. So that means, let me erase this real quick, okay? So that also means this angle A E B. Is going to be the same as this angle BEC. So the key thing with the with the with adjacent angle is got to have a um, common vertex and a common ray. Okay, so, so that's a better way of putting you know as the way I put it, touching the same line. Okay, common ray and common angle. All right, BEC is going to be adjacent to C to E to D as well. C to E to D is going to be adjacent to A, E, D. Same common, same common vertex and common ray. All right, opposite angles. When two lines intersect in the, um, in the same plane, when two lines in the same plane intersect, four angles are formed. Two angles are opposite if they are opposite each other. That is, they share, share a vertex but do not have any rays in common. For example, Two opposite angles are A to E to B and C to E to D. Okay, so they actually have a same common endpoint, but they do not have the same common ray. All right, so right here is also what we so call. I'm gonna skip over a little bit. Okay, if you turn a few pages, let's see. I think I got it somewhere right here, somewhere. Um. Maybe I did not put it on here, like I thought I did. Um, basically, I think it's on your handout. Let me flip through this real quick. Right before this problem on your handout, I believe, let me put up 
here. Let me put up. Split second here. So, but I believe on your handouts you got this thing. You have two lines intersecting. If two line, if if two line intersect, then two pairs of vertical angles are formed. All right. Vertical angles are opposite to each other. So that is basically the same thing as what we call them here, the opposite angles. Opposite angles, okay, all of this adjacent angles only occurs when you when we see two lines intersecting at one point, okay? So what is so-called the vertical angles, which is basically the opposite angle that the textbook talk about, all right? That will be referring to angle one and angle four. Right? And as a matter of fact, vertical angles are always congruent. So one and four are vertical angles or opposite angles. Three and two are also called the vertical angles or opposite angles. Okay. So and they, and all the vertical angles are congruent. All right. You probably remember the word in complementary angles. Two angles are called complementary if the sum of their major is ninety degrees. So if we say the measure of ang um, angle A to B to C is 90 degree, that means angle A, B, D and angle D, B, C are complementary to each other. All right, supplementary angles means two angles that have the sum of 180. So that means J, K, M here is going to be supplementary of M, K, L. Because these two angles, okay, this actually forms uh, a straight line over right here. They have this common, um, or you can say they have a common vertex and the common ray. All right. So when two angles has a, has a um, common endpoint and common ray, okay, when they're sitting side by side like this, they consider as adjacent angles. Or the two angles is also called the supplementary angles because because they're actually sitting off the same straight line. That's why a straight line is always 180 degrees. All right, perpendicular lines. I just want to show you the symbol. So when we say two lines are perpendicular, you always you always got to see the 90 degree angle here. All right, so perpendicular line simply referring to two lines intersecting at 90 degree angle. All right, so with all these things being said, okay, let's take a look at the idea of a vertical angle or the word adjacent and opposite. So I need to find, this example, I need to find angle 3. So right here, what I'm looking at is two lines intersecting at one point right here. So 1 and 2 is what the book called as opposite angles, or I can call them the, or I normally call them the vertical angles. And, I, and we just mentioned that vertical angles are congruent. So this angle one and two are exactly the same. So if I can figure out angle one, then angle two, I will know angle two, okay? Therefore, I can figure out angle three. So if you look at where angle one is, angle one is sitting inside this triangle, okay? As you can recall, triangle has 180 degrees. So to find angle one, to find angle 1, we would just take 180 degree, which is what a triangle is, minus 42, minus 62. So that will give me angle 1. All right, let's see what it is. So angle 1 is 76 degree. So if angle 1 is 76 degree, so will be angle number 2. Right, so now angle two is inside this triangle. All right, so I know two of the angle out of the three, so I can take 180 minus the 76 minus the 53 to help me to find angle three. So angle three is going to be 180 minus 76 minus 53. All 
Alright, so that will be 51 degrees. Alright, so angle 2 will be 51 degrees. Alright, so we seen this picture um, just, uh, just a few minutes ago. So, basically, um, here they are being a little bit more specific about what some of these other angles are. So, as you can see, angle RVQ, okay, is 90 degrees. In the following figure, ray VR, ray VR, right here, bisects, that means divide the two equal parts of angle TVS, from T to V, from T to V to S, okay, divide into two equal parts. Now, then it says, let me kind of write it, let me write it, let me draw it this way. Okay. VR bisects TVS. Angle and VQ, this VQ bisects, bisect means exactly two equal half, UVS from U. To V to S, so that will be going this direction. Okay, it's the same ray. I'm just using two different colors. All right. So let's say if angle two measure of angle two is sixty. So if this is sixty degree, okay, by angle one. All right. So, so remember now. It says V to Q, right here. Ray VQ bisects the UVS. So that means this ray here in the middle cuts this big blue angle in two halves. All right. So that means angle one got to be 60 degree as well. Because if this ray cuts in two halves, all right, that means these two angles are exactly the same. All right. So angle one is 60 degrees. All right, let's try this one real quick. Same thing. Okay, I'm going to color code this a little bit better. Um, FB, ray FB, ray F to B bisects. I right, cut into two equal, two equal parts of angle. Use purple. Angle. D F C D F C so this ray one this ray okay bisects my purple angle F A let's do that blue F A bisects angle E F C so I'm gonna use uh, green this time so green uh, this is my green angles Okay, blue bisects the green, red bisects the purple angle. Alright, if, if the measurement of angle DFB from D to F to B is 22 degrees, find angle DFC, DF to C. So, DFC is my purple angle, so what would this big old purple angle is? Well, since the uh, since FB bisects the entire purple, that means the other side is also going to be 22 degrees. Therefore, the entire purple angle got to be 22 plus 22, which is going to be 44 degrees. All right, that's how we figure it out. All right, all right. Let's do some. Let's do the same thing with a little bit of algebra involved. So let me use my color again. QM. QM. Bisects angle. What color do I use? Purple first. O Q N. O to Q to N. All right. So this red one, this red red ray, bisects this purple angle. All right. Let's do blue. Q L. Q L bisects P Q N. P to Q to N. All right. So the blue, blue bisects the green. Red bisects the purple. If P, it says if measure of P, Q, N. 
from P to Q to N, this big old purple is 146 degree, and LQN, all right, from L to Q to N, which is right about here, LQN is half of the green, right? How do I know it's a half? Because my blue bisects the green. So if that's 5R plus 18 degree, find R. So basically what it's saying is, if LQN, which is half of the purple, is 5R plus 18 degree, and we know the other side of the blue, that means the other angle will also be 5R plus 18. Why is that? Well, the blue bisects the entire green angles. So that means these two angles are exactly the same. So if I know one of them is 5R plus 18, the other one will also be 5R plus 18. So since I know the entire green angle is 146, that means these two halves angle add up together got to equal to 146. So that's, so that's actually how we're going to find the R. So let me just write this, okay? It says what? It says LQN. So let's just say this is angle LQN. L to Q to N is 5R plus 18. Plus the other one must be LQP. Okay, because this angle and the other angle together equal to 146 because the because QL bisects the entire green angles. All right, so real quick, combine like terms. 5R plus 5R is 10R. Just do a little bit of algebra here. 18 plus 18 is positive 36 equal to 146. Let me move my positive 36 over. So that will give me 10R equal to 116. 146 minus 36. And then we divide, oh, 110, I'm sorry, 110. So now we divide both sides by 10. My answer, R equals 11. All right, that's how we find that out. All right, let's try a different one. Let's, let, let's try complementary and supplementary. So whenever you see the word complementary angles, that means the two angles add up together, got to equal to 90 degrees. So two ma the measure of two complementary angles are described by the expression 13x minus 13 degree and 19x plus 7 degree find the major of these two angles. So we know the two angles, okay, let me draw it out for you, okay. Complementary means, means two angles together is equal to 90 degree. So let's say here is a ray, okay, divide up two angles within this 90 degree. So let's say one of them is 13x minus 13, the other angle is 19x plus 7, so these two angles are complementary each other, that means these two angles together got to equal to 90 degrees. And we use that concept to help us set up our equation. So we can solve for x. Alright, 19x plus 13x, combine like term, that will be 1, 2, 3, that will be 32x, is that what, if I'm right. All right, 7 minus 13, that will be negative uh, 6 equal to 90. All right, move my negative 6 over, that's 32x equal to 96. So divide both sides by 32, my answer x equals to 2. Oh, 3, excuse me, equal to 3. All right, but I'm not done yet because that's just what x equal to. So I, now I need to plug in x back into my two angles. So one angle is going to be 19 times 3 plus 7. 19 times 3 plus 7. So one angle is 64 degrees. So that means the other angle, which is 13 times 3 minus 13, or you can say 90 minus 64, either way, that should be 20. Six degrees. All right, so that's my answer for both. 
All right, let's try it with supplementary. Okay, so basically these two angles together are going to equal up to 180 degrees. So I will take one angle, 11x minus 7, plus my 15x plus 5, and set it equal to 180 because the word supplementary. Tell me these two together equal to 180. All right, combine like terms so I can solve for x before I can find out what the angle is. So 11x plus 15x, which is 26x. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2 equal to 180. If I move my negative 2 over, keep my positive 26 positive on the left side. So that will be 26x equal to 182. Divide both sides by 26. So 182 divided by 26, my answer is 7. x equal to 7. So that if I plug it back in here, that will be 11 times 7 minus 7. That's 77 minus 7, which is 70. So that means if one angle is 70 and the two together is supplementary, that means one is 70, the other one is uh, 180 minus 70. 180 minus 70, it got to be 110 degrees. All right, 15, or you can say 15 times 7 plus 5, either way. All right, now the last two problem here is about translations. So let's see. Um, two angles are complementary. One angle is 28 degrees more than the other. So I got one angle and I got the word other angle. So let's say other angle is x, right? When we're comparing two items that, like we did before on, for test one. So if I'm only comparing two items, I always let the one list at the end to be x. So let's go back and for that one angle. That one angle is 28 degree. More than means plus, plus who? The other. All right, since, since this one angle and the other angle together it are complementary, that means that one angle plus the other got to equal to 90 degrees. All right, so let's see. 28 plus x is that one angle plus the other angle, x equal to 90. So when I combine like term here, that's 2x plus 28 equal to 90. Move my positive 28 over, becomes negative. So that's 2x equals 90 minus 28. And then I will divide both sides by 2. So my x is going to be 31. All right. So this problem, x represents the other angle. So the other angle got to be 31 degree. So... That one angle got to be 28 plus 31. 28 plus 31. It's going to give me 59 degrees. All right, because the two together got to equal to what? 90. All right, same thing with the word supplementary. One angle is 50 degrees more than the other. So the, like the other second item to be X again. So let's go back and translate with a wide angle. That one angle is 50, 50, more than, more than, more than the other, means plus x. So since the two angles are supplementary, so that one angle plus the other together equal to 180 degrees. So we're using this concept to help us solve this algebraic equation or algebra word problems. So 50 plus x plus the other angle is x equal to 180. So that will be 2x plus 50 equal to 180, right? Combine like terms. Move the 50 over, that will be 2x equal to 130. So divide both sides by 2, my answer, x equal to 75. So that means the other angle got to be 75 degrees. All right, so 50 plus 75 got to be 125 degrees. Oh, one there. No, 65. 65. Sorry about that. Alright, so. I do it right. Let me see. 130 divided by 2. 
to 65. 65 plus 50, that would be 111. That's 115 degrees. There you go. All right, so that's my answer. So basically, we just, um, in this lecture video, we basically quickly take a look at the basic concept of plane geometry, and then we use some of these concepts to do some algebra word problems, we talk about how to identify acute obtuse angles, and then we mention about we find the measurements uh, uh, using a using different concept. Find the measurement of of these angles using various uh, concepts like vertical angles, opposite angles. Okay. Uh, learning about um, array that will bisect all angles and. Do a little bit algebra, algebra um, using a little bit algebra concept to help us to um, to deal with some of these um, geometric type of problem. All right, so this is a little bit different um, as you probably seen before in the previous math class you had. Okay, because this is one of the very few times we actually use um, algebra. Okay, for geometry. All right, so um, that will conclude this lecture video on the everyday. Ge uh, everyday geometry and application. Thank you for watching.